And Chess.com is here with the assistant arbiter for the match, women's grandmaster and international arbiter, Nana Alexandria, two-time vice women's world champion. So your resume speaks for itself. This is your first time arbiting at a world championship. Is that right? Yeah. First time uh, as the deputy arbiter of the world championship match among women and among men as well. Mm -hmm. Among women as well. I, I myself played two world championship matches. And uh, this is the first time that I, I am on the stage when I cannot see the the spectators and the uh, it's quite dull <laughs> it was always more exciting when you see the audience and their uh, the, but chess players have good concentration so their noise would not disturb you but then the technique new technique made it uh, Right. For the viewers that don't know, for the viewers that don't know, we are in a very special room where the audience can see in, but you can't see out. It's we like a mirror for us. This is what I say. So you're saying it's a little bit uh, disorienting. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. What I say, because you, you cannot see anything, their reaction, what's happening in the, mm -hmm. and it's always uh, very emotional to see how this the spectators uh, act react to the moves or whatever so it's always more interesting and this is the first time i'm mean, like in a cage and yeah, i cannot yeah. see anything but what's happening on the stage of course is very interesting let me ask you um it's supposed to be a soundproof room and i know that a cell phone went off at least once on the other side of that glass could you hear that cell no. phone in here no, nothing no, have you heard nothing. any sounds nothing nothing is heard no, it is absolutely safe from the uh, from noise and whatever. That Fantastic. Is, yeah. What's the mood like in here? Can you feel the players' tension? I mean, is it that uh, the English word would be visceral? Can you really feel the the tension? Yes, you know, when the the, the match started and uh, Roger says they asked me, how do you feel if you are somehow uh, in the same mood as mm -hmm. if you play? And I said, no, not yet. But later I found out that I am taking the same regime as as I used to play. Uh, I have a rest before the game, okay. so I always did it, and so I have the same regime as if I played. And of course, the tension is felt. Uh, also, we still have only draws. And so you want to be in top form as an arbiter? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so. Well, you guys have not really made big news, which is good, of course. The arbiters never want to be the story. Uh, I guess the biggest thing that happened was that little Jadoub incident. Uh, yeah. Did you have to review that with the the chief arbiter? Was that an issue at all? Yeah, yeah, we were lucky to uh, hear he, the chief arbiter heard it and he even wrote, wrote it down when it was said. Uh, the most interesting thing for me was that uh, two days ago uh, men started playing like women did five, half a century ago. Not like women did, like you did. <laughs> yes, I did like women did hmm. half a century ago. It was my game when, where I used to be for sacrifice for the first time and it was in 69 in the Soviet Union Championship and it was a very remarkable championship for me because I became for the third time Soviet Union champion and it was the, it is the record which is held because at the age of 20 I was three time world champion uh, Soviet Union champion and if uh, Soviet Union is not recovered then mm -hmm. <laughs> it will the, the mm -hmm. record will be kept forever well we don't think the Soviet Union will be recovered we'll talk about that I later and uh, finally I do want to ask you about game five when B4 happened and you yeah. had that game from 1969 yeah. I know you said you recognized it right away was it hard to keep a poker face and like not get too excited in front of the players <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was really <laughs> shocked and emotional that they repeated this one i only remember that it was uh, against borisenko who was um, a theoretical uh, her husband was a very famous theoretician and she was five times soviet union champion she, she was something in that period and i was i was young and so i remember this game i was not quite sure about the date i remember something the end or beginning of the 70s so it was emotional and it was I liked it uh, they repeated my move <laughs> well it was 1969 and I think in the US they call that the summer of love I think a lot of people don't really remember that exact year but that's a different story it was fantastic talking with you and uh, good luck the rest of the way for those people that want to know more about that game that she played in 1969 look at the chess.com news report from round five thank you Nana Alexandria yeah my pleasure